nothing, nothing pisses me off more than walking into a 7-Eleven at like midnight and having some guy without a green card tell me to have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a nice, have a nice. You know, they charge you a different price every time you go in for the same item at night. Look, she's spitting up a drink. It's true. 492, 641, 1152. I'm going, it's gum. He says, it's my store. They have a sign. They have a sign on the wall. Am I making this up? Manager cannot open safe. Have you seen that? Okay, this asshole can't speak English, can't make correct change. Why would we think he can open the safe? Why don't they just list all the things this guy can't do on the wall? It would be like the whole wall. That's what I'm angry about. There, I said it. You dragged it out of me. I'm from California. We had a whole summer of freeway shootings. Did any of you hear about that? Did that make the news here? Did it? I'm, we, you'd be driving down a San Diego freeway. You'd hear things like, honey, I'm changing lanes. Cover me. We had an earthquake, 7.42 in the morning, the whole ground shook. They tell us, check this out in, in, in Los Angeles, that this is the warning signal. They say that animals have a sixth sense. Animals know in advance when there's going to be a quake. So if we ever see an airport bus filled with schnauzers and poodles on the freeway to get out of town, I'm not buying it. That's not an early warning system for me. Anyway, welcome to the show. We're talking about TV. We're talking about the news. We're talking about, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Anyone from New York City? Ha! Thanks for that support. Anyone from South Philly? <laughs> I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, okay? I think the Brooklyn Zoo is the only zoo where, where the animals asked for more bars on the cages because they just didn't feel safe. I went back to New York. I'll share one more thing with you. I went back to New York about six months ago for the Humidity Festival, and I got stopped by a New York cop. This is, this is it. This is the New York cop, right? And he said I didn't stop at a stop sign. I said I slowed down. He said, but you didn't stop. I said I slowed down. He said, but you didn't stop. I said, I slowed down. What's the difference? He took out his nightstick, started beating me in the neck. He said, now you want me to slow down or do you want me to stop? It's an attitude. It's just an attitude. I live in West Hollywood, which is the gay capital of the universe. I really do. And if you drop your wallet, <laughs> you don't dare bend over and pick it up. You kick it all the way to Pasadena. You know what I'm saying? You gotta like strap a frying pan to your butt before you walk out in the morning. But I mean that in a good way. Because, it's, what do you want me to say? They have an S&M appliance store on Santa Monica Boulevard. S&M, Spaniards and Mexicans for you, ma'am. An S&M appliance store. I went and I bought a blender. It's got three speeds, whip, beat, and humiliate. Not for everyone, but those that got it, got it. Are you smoking over there? Who the hell's smoking? You know, you have to have guts. Guts, I think, today in this to smoke. Don't you agree, ma'am? When the makers of a product have to write by law on the side of the box, this shit will kill you. When they've got to write on the box, this shit will kill you. I think it's time to wake up and smell the toast. What do you, what do you have to do to, what, do you, what symptoms do you need? You have, to like start, you have to start coughing up little white mice. What do you need to do? It's like someone going to a used car lot and the salesman says, this baby over here is a death trap. At 60, it'll burst into flames. And you go, I'll take it, 2,000 bucks. <laughs> Liquid Drano, do not drink. Oh, come on, one more glass. <laughs> you got to stop smoking. What are you, coughing up a lung there? Anyway, nice to have you here, those of you that are here. I feel a lot of love from every single one of you because believe it or not, look around. This is the most people I've ever performed for in my entire career. My career is in the crapper right now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that support. Thank you very much for that support. My last job was in Alabama, and I always make fun of it. In Alabama, this is true, they have a guy on death row, and he's so fat that they can't electrocute him because he can't fit in the chair. It's in the news. So the warden told him to go on a diet. Talk about motivation for losing weight. He's writing that diet book, Lose Weight Even If It Kills You. They're all dead, ladies. You know who I'm talking about. They're dead. Tarnauer, Pritikin, the diet doctors are all dead dead. Give it up. Jim Fix died running. You know who's left? Chubby Checker. Fat Stomino. There's a message. Be a soul singer and eat lots of jelly donuts. You'll live forever. Forget this vegetable crap. I love vegetables. They're healthy. I love them when they're wrapped in bacon and deep fried. I think that's when they're the healthiest. The fond Every lady I know is doing the Fonda workout. The videotape. I do the Peter Fonda workout. It's where you get up in the morning, get wasted, and then go to your sister's house and beg for money. It's a variation on a theme. 